Hello to you all. In the second part of this topic, we will see what an employer can be expected to do to improve work conditions for special people and tips to improve inclusion of IDD people within a company. How can employers implement non-discrimination and equality policies? According to International Labor Organization, companies are encouraged to eliminate discrimination in the employment through the following measures. Make a strong commitment from the top. When the most senior management assumes responsibility for equal employment issues and demonstrate a commitment to diversity, they send a strong signal to other managers, supervisors, and workers. Conduct an assessment to determine if discrimination is taking place within the enterprise. Set up an enterprise policy establishing clear procedures on non-discrimination and equal opportunities and communicate it both internally and externally. Provide training at all levels of the organization, in particular for those involved in recruitment and selection, as well as supervisors and managers to help raise awareness and encourage people to take action against discrimination. Support ongoing sensitization campaigns to combat the stereotypes, set measurable goals and specific time frames to achieve objectives. Monitor and qualify progress to identify exactly what improvements have been made. Modify work organization and distribution of tasks as necessary to avoid negative effects on the treatment and advancement of particular groups of workers. This includes measures to allow workers to balance work and family responsibilities. Ensure equal opportunity for skills development, including scheduling to allow maximum participation. What about the workers? What's the role of workers in non-discrimination at the workplace? According to ILO, workers through their representatives can be management's strongest ally in combating discrimination. Enterprise should consider setting up bipartite bodies involving workers, freely chosen representatives to determine priority areas and strategies and to counter bias in the workplace. Involvement of workers' representatives in tackling discrimination at work will ensure that they are committed to the goals. These are tips for recruitment process by ILO. Any distinction, exclusion, or preference in respect of a particular job based on inherent requirements is not considered to be discrimination. However, this exception should be interpreted restrictively. Any distinctions should be determined on an objective basis and should take account of individual capacities, not perceptions of the capacity of particular groups. Now, to finish it, final tips to improve equality. According to National Disability Authority from Ireland, Employers should engage with persons with disabilities themselves in identifying reasonable accommodations and recognize those persons as experts in their own disability. Seeking to understand how the person with a disability views their own disability and thus the accommodations they may require is critical. Dialogue between the employee and the employer on the nature of disability and the types of barriers which can be removed or mitigated is therefore essential. As employment candidates may not feel comfortable disclosing their disabilities, employers need to be proactive and take the initiative in asking applicants what, whether they need a reasonable accommodation for a disability. There are organizations specialized in job accommodations with web pages available for employers to search for the best solution for their IDD employees. You may find the library with the job accommodations tag. Well, in this presentation, we saw what is the motivation of IDD people to look for a job? What is the current situation of equality at work in European Union? What are the benefits of a diverse workplace for employers? What an employer can be expected to do to improve work conditions for special people? And finally, tips to improve the inclusion of IDD people within a company. I hope all the points were clear. Thank you for your attention.